Honourable Hikia Parata. Ko hikurangi me auraki aku maunga, ko waiapu me waitaki ngā awa, ko ngā tipurau me ngaitahu ngā iwi, koe nei tāua. Haere atu rā e te minita, haere atu rā e te mema pāremata, haere atu rā e te whanau ngā hoa, haere atu rā e te kaimahi, haere atu rā e te tungāne. Hoki mai kia tātou, ngā hunga ora, ngā, ngā kanohi o rātou kua mene atu ki te pō. Tēnā koutou e whakawhaiti nei i rotu i tēnei whare o tātou o Aotearoa nei. Tēnā koutou tūrei, koutou ko o kōkā, o pāpā, o tīpuna, o te whānau pani, i haramai i tēnei rā, i te taha, o ngā tiprau, o kahungunu, O, o ngā uh, rōpu katoa e tautoko ana koutou i tēnei ahi-ahi. Tēnā koutou. Hauiti koutou kei te kāinga e mātakitaki mai nei e whakarongo ana. Tēnā koutou. Nā koutou i waha te tangihanga te poroporo aki mō tātātou tangata i takatū ki muri, i takatū ki roto, a uh, i kōrero uh, ki mua. Tēnā koutou. Uh, kia koutou, kia tātou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora tātou katoa. We have been farewelling Parekura for the past 10 days, I think, and all of those at home and those here um, have been a part of that process and many, many more from all around the country. And it has been fitting, as all of the speakers previous uh, to me um, have noted, that he reached out and touched so many people, so many lives, so many hearts. It has been totally fitting. And over the time that um, Parekura was lying, first at Hine Mauria, and then at Hoeti, and people came from all over, I think that you, he, would have been happy with his tangi. I think that ensuring that all who came were manaki, who felt the generosity of the hokainga, of hoiti, bolstered and supported by Ngāti Pro Whānui, uh, Ngā Iwi o Tūranga Nui Ākiwa, o Kahungunu, o Ngā Iwi Katoa, Ngāi Tahu who came up from Te Waipaunamu, Te Rā Toha, tana, uh, Taha Tōna, everyone who came from all parts of Aotearoa to pay their respects, to make their tributes, to tell their jokes, to repeat their anecdotes, to colonise them as their own and repeat them on other occasions. It was truly a mourning of his passing, but a celebration of his life as well. And that's as it should have been and should be. Parekura and I, ko te kē taku kōrero a whānau i te pō whakamutunga. Nera? Nā reira i tēnei wā ke te kōrero au mōna i rotu i, I uh, tūranga, i, I uh, te panga nui ātara me ngā mahi i mahia e ia. Uh, Parekura and I came from the same little marae out of the mouth of the Waiapu. As do many of us, we have many sides to us, so we come from different parts of our rohe, and we share whakapapa. But the first time we worked officially together was in 1985, is that when the Hui Taumata was, the official historian sitting up in the gallery? In 1985, when both he and I spoke at the Hui Taumata, which had been um, organised by the Honourable Koro Wetere, and which drew together in a very historic, and as it happens appropriately, historic way, men and women, young and old, throughout the country, to talk together about what the challenges were that faced us as Māori, and it faced us as New Zealanders and as participants in and contributors to and shapers of our own destinies and in so doing contribute to the strength of our country, Aotearoa New Zealand. I went on to work with Parekura as a public servant, he in the Department of Labour, me in a range of government departments. We didn't always disclose our affiliation or whanaungatanga as we worked different sides of a kaupapa. Um, we set about in many instances in that time trying to design Māori affairs policies that would deliver better 
than those we had experienced or seen ourselves. And I worked for him as Minister of Māori Affairs. Um, again, working on how we could better develop policy that would uh, support Māori to be successful. And it's been mentioned already that Parikura was a true public servant and he served many publics and he came from a tribe and a community that honoured public service and commitment to community. And one of the things that I think that I will always remember him for and honour him, well, actually a collection of things, is that all of his work was based on the belief and understanding and respect and wish to showcase what was right about being Māori, not what was wrong. What was powerful and positive about being Māori, not what was a problem and deficit. What was normal and wonderful and beautiful about being Māori, not what it was to fix it up to make it look better. He started truly using policy analysis terms from a proficiency analysis. He believed in what was possible, what the potential was here and how it might be realised. He may not have expressed it that way. Many have commented on his Mickey rapuness to use a Ngāti Pro term, um, on how he used words. At home, people just called that paraphrasing. Um, <laughs> Because, of course, at home, as all of you who came um, to the coast will know, that while Parekura was known as Parekura here or Pari or Pare, um, at home he was always known as Para or Uncle Para. And so, yes, it was just a question that he was um, paraphrasing and that he would always return to paradise. And that's what he has done, and that is what he has done um, in Hoati. He was truly a member of the House of Representatives, which all of us sit in today, work so hard to get here and participate in. He brought the diversity and the richness and the authenticity that is so important to a true representative democracy. He did spend a lot of time on the road, up and down communities of this country, reaching out and touching people. There are stories um, that are told about him all the time of pulling up to houses. You know, Shane has already mentioned this, that here in terms of a by-election he was a part of. In terms of a by-election I was a part of, I know how much campaigning my cousin did against me. <laughs> this much. I know, I know where the election uh, pamphlets went to that were to oppose me. Certainly into an opening, but not a letterbox. And I know <laughs> that Parikura was um, loved and respected in little communities and big communities and small organisations and big organisations. I worked with Parikura for Parikura and I saw him operate successfully and effectively uh, no matter which government was in power because he went with authenticity for what he was trying to achieve and I think that he was very effective and I think it's important that in a democracy like ours and in a house of representatives like this that we always welcome and value that rich diversity that he personified not only um, in what he did but in the way he did it and the way that he um, was warm and generous. It's already been said he was a big man with a big heart. Absolutely was. He worked extremely hard. I totally agree. I think it was with Annette King who said he wanted to die doing what he loved doing. This idea that he anointed successes, I just do not believe it. He wanted to be, he did, he did flirt with the ideas every now and again, and you will have heard that in the eulogies at Hoati over the weekend, but he wanted to do what he was doing, and actually I think this is a very fitting way for him to have left from all the work, the mahi that he did, that he loved doing, and he was respected for doing. We both come from a community where Apirana Ngata stood tall. 
Many know him as the guy on the $50 note. We grew up where he walked tall in our community. Songs were and are sung about him. It was many years before I discovered he'd actually passed away because all of the stories spoke of him as if he was very much alive. And one of the things that he, um, he wrote before he passed away, which has been quoted many times and also in this house, was um, the shortened version was, E tipuere mungara o tō ao. Grow up and serve the needs of your generation. And that's what, para, that's what Parekura has done. He has served the needs of his generation and he has honoured that whakatauki, that poroporoaki of his tipuna of Apira Nangata. So I would like to share with thanking him for the contributions that he made, both personally and professionally, that the contributions he made in terms of politics and policy. Many of that side of the House will not know, may have suspected, but he gave me constant feedback on how I was doing here in this House. <laughs> because all of you here, and certainly all of our whanaunga, all of our whanaunga will notice that Messengers operate in this house. You don't know where a message has come from, and I would often get one from my tungane on the other side of the chamber. And I won't be sharing what they were, but I really, <laughs> I really appreciated them, and I will miss looking across the house to see him speak so expressively with his eyes and his eyebrows, which he held many conversations through um, as we sat opposite each other in this house. So, haere okiatsuara e te tungane, our rambling, shambling man. Thank you for so much that you gave to all of us. You will be remembered. Whaiate te kahurangi ki te tuohu koe me he maunga teitei. Strive for the ultimate, and if you must bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. Katahia no aia katuhungo. Finally, he has bowed his head. Gelda, then I'll go home. Moana Maggie. Go ahead.